Ladies and gentlemen, the Railroad Hour. And here comes the star-studded show train. Tonight, the Association of American Railroads presents the great Broadway musical hit, No, No, Nanette, starring Gordon McRae and his lovely guest star, Doris Day. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff, and the music is arranged and conducted by Carmen Dragon. Yes, tonight, another top musical success is brought to you by the American Railroads, the same railroads that bring you most of the food you eat, the clothes you wear, the fuel you burn, and all the other things you use in your daily life. And now here is our star, Gordon McRae. Oh, thank you, Marvin Miller, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight it's music by the great Vincent Humans as we bring you No No Nanette. I love Well, sir, rumor hath it that the cameras are going to be rolling pretty soon out at Warner Brothers, where Doris Day and I will be teaming up for a picture version of No No Nanette. And so tonight, we're giving you a preview of a preview. Our curtain rises on a swank country home in Long Island. I'll be showing up any moment as Tom... But right now, that dream walking through the door looking remarkably like Doris Day is our lovely heroine, Nanette. The crowd following Nanette includes all the young guys and gals of Long Island. And that tugboat taking up the rear is Nanette's guardian, Sue Smith. Oh, please, Mrs. Smith, may I go with the gang to Atlantic City? No, 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 Nanette. Oh, gee, I just want to have a little fun. All I've done since I've been here is housework and housework, and then for a change, a little more housework. I'm practically a servant. No, no, Nanette, you're a guest. Your mother and I were schoolmates. So when your folks passed away, I was only too glad to, uh, uh, well, take you in. You took me in all right. I agreed to bring you here and train you to be a good wife for some good man. Well, that's exactly it. I spend all my time learning how to be a good wife to a good man. But I want to get out a little and look the men over. <laughs> Why, Nanette, what about Tom? He's sane and sensible Well, I guess eventually I want to settle down with a sane and sensible fellow like Tom But first I want to get a good look at all the insane and insensible ones Oh, please let me go to Atlantic City No! No, no, Nanette, that's all I hear Gales my ears, no matter what I may do. Sometimes, perhaps, I'll have my way when I am old and turning gray. But just as yet, it's always no, 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 Nanette. No, no, Nanette, that's all I need. worry about them. Look who's coming, Tom. Come in, Tom. Here's our little flower. Here's Nanette. Oh, hello, Mrs. Smith. Hello, Nanette. Hello, Tom. I, I brought you a present. Here. Chocolate-covered peanuts. It's the family special this week at the corner drugstore. How exotic. <laughs> well, I'll leave you two by your lonesome. Uh, before you go, Mrs. Smith. Uh, yes? Well, I was... I was wondering if you'd allow Nanette to go with me tonight to a concert at Carnegie Hall. 
It's a marvelous program by the Chillicothe Cello Choir. Oh, that would be thrilling. <laughs> Wouldn't it, Nanette? Oh, yes, but Tom, I'd rather go to Atlantic... No, 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 Nanette. Put that thought right out of your head. I'll see you two later. <sighs> What's wrong, Nanette? You seem a little blue. Oh, nothing's wrong, Tom. Don't you look forward to the day when... You, you... can be a good wife to a good man. Oh, yes. And don't you look forward to the day when you can, well, raise a little family? First, I want to raise a little cane. <laughs> Besides, Tom, a girl can't raise a family all by herself. She's got to find someone to fall in love with her first. Well, I've had sort of a plan in the back of my head that I wanted to tell you about, Nanette. Sort of the architectural design for a very nice dream. Oh, great. This boy makes love with blueprints. Picture you upon my knee Just tea for two and two for tea Me for you and you for me alone Oh, nobody near us to see us or hear us No friends or relations on weekend vacations we won't have it known, dear, that we own a telephone. Day will break, and you'll awake and start to bake a sugar cake for me to take, for all the boys to see. A boy for you, a little girl for me. Can't you see how happy we would be? You are revealing a plan so appealing, I can't help but feeling for you. Darling, I planned it, can't you understand it? It's yours to command it, so do. All of your schemes I'm admiring, they're worth desiring, but can't you see? I'd like to wait, dear, for some future date, dear. It won't be too late, dear, for me. Picture me upon your knee With tea for two and two for tea Just me for you and you for me alone Nobody near us to see us or hear us No friends or relations on weekend vacations we won't have it known, dear, that we own a telephone, dear. Day will break, and I'll awake and start to bake a sugar cake for you to take to all the boys to see. It's a nice dream, Tom, but it just won't work. I'll see you later. Nanette. Well, hello there, Galahad. Oh, hello, Mr. Smith. What's your trouble? You look like the world's coming to an end. Well, right now I'm looking forward to tea for one and one for tea. <laughs> oh, it's Nanette, huh? Yeah. Let me give you some advice about my pretty little ward. Nanette's young. She just wants to have a little fun before she settles down. <laughs> so go out, have a wild time. Spend a lot of money on her. Oh, that's a great idea, Mr. Smith. There's only one problem. 
I don't have any money. <laughs> well, spend what you've got. It's my theory that you should spend money between 22 and 55. Because after you're 55, all you can buy that'll do you any good is a bottle of liniment. <laughs> well, sir, I'm going to talk to Nanette. She's got to listen to me. Remember one other thing, Tom. Oh, what's that, Mr. Smith? Best way to make yourself happy is to make somebody else happy. Thanks. I'll remember that. Nanette, what are you doing packing that suitcase? I'm running away. Where? Oh, I don't know, Tom. Just someplace where I can be my own boss. Where people won't always say no to me. But, Nanette... Oh, I'm sick and tired of everybody saying no, no, Nanette. Every day, all the time. Why wasn't I born with a name that begins with a Y? Then it would be easier to say yes. Everybody might say, yes, yes, Yolanda, or, or yes, yes, Yvette. Where will you be? The yesiest place I can find. <laughs> Probably Atlantic City. No. Oh, I thought maybe you were different, Tom. But you're just like all the rest, saying no all the time. Oh, Nanette, listen to me, will you? I'll say yes all you want. Because you see, the only way I can be happy is, is if you're happy. I want to be happy. But I won't be happy Till I make you happy too Life is really worth living When we are mirth giving Why can't I give some to you? When skies are gray and you say you are blue, I'll send the sun smiling through. I want to be happy, but I won't be happy till I make you happy. I'll send the sun smiling through. I want to be happy, but I won't be happy till I make you happy too. I want to be happy, but I won't be happy till I make you happy too. Life's really When skies are gray and you say you are blue, I'll send the sun smiling through. I want to be, I want to be happy, but I won't be happy till I make you happy too. But I can't be happy until I make you happy. It's all very well to say that, Tom, but you want to keep me in a glass cage, so I'm leaving. There. My suitcase is all packed. I'm going to be a woman of the world. I won't let you, Nanette. You can't boss me. Everybody tries to boss me. Now, don't get too wild too soon, Nanette. Wild? I'll show you. I shall wear expensive dresses. I shall even bob my tresses. I shall go to grand cafes to dine. Nanette, be careful. Be not too dareful. I'll order caviar and maybe wine. All the world and all that's in it, you shall know in every minute. I'll be busy buying furs and frills. No, no, you're raving. Girls should be saving. I'll find a Santa Claus who'll pay my bills. Dark and handsome Santa Claus, too. A Santa Claus? 
Nanette, tell me where you'll be. I won't tell you. Where are you going? I'm going to be happy, Tom. Goodbye. Nanette! No, no, Nanette, don't make him grieve. You're going a bit too far. No, no, Nanette, you must not leave. Remember how young you are. We really think you ought to stay. We'll return to the second act of No, No, Nanette in a moment. But first, this is the traditional season of Thanksgiving, the season when all America pauses to return thanks for the blessings we enjoy. When the tradition of a special day for Thanksgiving started, America was a wilderness, barely able to support only a few hundred thousand Indians. Today, America is the home of 150 million persons, a people who produce more and live better than any other on Earth. Our people have much for which they may return thanks. And while they're returning thanks, they may look once more at the ancient landmarks along the path by which, under providence, they have come so far. America is founded and has grown great on freedom. Freedom of worship and conscience. Freedom of choice and opportunity. Freedom to work, to save, to enjoy the fruits of saving, and to pass them on to our children. Freedom to make mistakes, if you please and even to fail. But if you fail, freedom to try again. Upon the foundation of that freedom, the American people have built their great agriculture, their great industries, their unparalleled productive power, their economic life. As an essential part of our economic life, America's railroads provide the nation with its basic common carrier transportation. For the railroad is the only form of transportation which can and does handle anything movable for anyone in any quantity, anywhere, in any season of the year. Now here is Act Two of No, No, Nanette, starring Gordon McRae as Tom and his guest star Doris Day as Nanette. I love to Oh, it was a nice dream, Nanette. A boy for you, a girl for me. But you went away, dear, and, well, the whole dream went up in smoke. How, how can I be happy if I'm not able to make you happy? When skies are gray and you say you are blue, I'll send the sun smiling through. I want to be Happy, but I won't be happy till I make you happy too. Oh, Mr. Smith, you're the best guardian a girl ever had, taking me to Atlantic City. Oh, just look at that ocean. My dear, with you in a bathing suit, who looks at the ocean? (laughs) Oh, thank you for buying me this beautiful suit. Don't mention it, my dear, Annette. You see anything you like in a shop window, all you have to do is smile, and I'll go right in and buy it for you. Oh, be careful. I may stand in front of Tiffany's and have hysterics. Well, you've already made friends. They are calling you. Oh, my new friends are calling me, and the sea is calling me. When the sea begins a calling me, a sort of tempting incantation fills me with elation. It seems to say, come on and play. Come along and learn the old, old song, the song of love's sweet fascination. Something fills me with a thousand thrills when the sea is a calling me. Calling me 
A sort of tempting incantation Fills me with the elation It seems to say, come out and play Come along and learn the old, old song The song of love's sweet fascination Something fills me with a thousand thrills When the seas are calling The seas are calling me You're without a girl, and I'm without a husband. Mrs. Smith, what does that husband of yours do anyhow? Where did he make all his money? Selling dictionaries. And for a dictionary salesman, uh, he's quite a boy. He can spell absolutely anything except words. <laughs> Gee, I didn't know there was money in dictionaries. Oh, sure. It's fascinating reading, too. Why did you know that an aardvark is a large burrowing mammal? That an abaca is a Philippine palm tree? And that an abacus is a contrivance for calculating? Go on. <laughs> That's as far as I got. <laughs> you know, it's not much fun being away from somebody you love. I find life pretty dull, too. Do you know any new dance steps? <laughs> well, nothing jazzy. I, I do know a one step. Well, let's have a fling at it. It'll be more fun for me than just sitting here on my big veranda. <laughs> Well, okay, it goes like this. Take a little one step, two step, three step, come a little closer, please. Like a rose that blows in every breeze. Take a little one step, two step, three step, then a little dip like this. There's a step we can't afford to miss. And then you glide and you slide, keeping close to my side. Oh, boy, let's go, boy, that music's tickling every toe, boy. Take a little kick, a wide and free step, then a little one step, two step, three step. Every little step means I love you. Good. Like a rose that blows in every breeze. Oh, my. Now take a little kick, a wild and free step, then a little one step, two step, three step. Every little step means I love you. Ooh, what did you say? Well, I, I didn't mean I love you, Mrs. Smith. Ah, uh, but for a second there, I closed my eyes and thought I was dancing with Nanette. By gosh, I'm going to do something about this. Do you know who took Nanette to Atlantic City? No. Your husband. How did you find out? Well, I bribed one of the servants. Bribed? I thought you were penniless. Oh, I didn't use money. Chocolate-covered peanuts. <laughs> well, how do you like that husband of mine? I don't care for him much. Come on, Tom. We're going to Atlantic City. Hand me that dictionary. Dictionary? You want something to read on the way? No. It's a little heavy reading, but it's just right to bounce off the brain of that dictionary salesman. <laughs> What's been going on? <laughs> uh, hello, Sue. <laughs> Hello, Tom. Oh, how can you stand there with your face hanging out, you rogue? Yes, what have you been doing making Nanette lead a wild life, buying her bathing suits and oceans? Uh, I didn't buy her any oceans. <laughs> Somebody was using her that day. Where is she? Out on the beach in the moonlight. And I have a hunch she's alone. What's the idea of all this? Just a little scheme of mine, Sue. I figured these kids would never be happy unless Nanette did get out and see the world a little. But you know something, Tom? If you stroll out in the moonlight, you might bump into a young woman of the world who's a little tired of the world right now. Well, thanks, Mr. Smith. I'll go right out. Nanette! Where are you? Nanette! Who is it? It's Tom. 
Oh, Tom. Oh, gee, I'm glad to see you. Are you? All the way down here, I've been studying one of Jimmy Smith's dictionaries. And I found out that I don't really love you at all. Oh, don't you? No, Nana. I feel adoring, amatory, amorous, bedeviled, beloved, bewitched, captivated, delirious, distracted, enchanted, and... Well, that's as far as I got. Oh, oh, Tom, do you know what happened to me? What? Well, the sea was calling me all right, but it was calling me a big darn fool. I've done all the things I thought I wanted to do, and, and I didn't like any of them. And this afternoon at tea, I decided that I, I like your way so much better. You do? But tea, for one, is no fun at all. Even with lemon and two lumps of sugar. Day will break, and I will wake and start to bake a sugar cake. For me to take, for all the boys to see. That's why I'm ready to say yes. What was that word again? No? Never heard of it. We'll take it right out of the dictionary. When skies are gray and you say you are blue, I'll say the sun shining through. Doris Day will be back in just a moment. Meanwhile, this is Gordon McRae with a word of thanks to our excellent supporting cast, Alan Reed and Verna Felton. No, No, Nanette, composed by Vincent Humans with book by Otto Harbach and Frank Mandel and lyrics by Irving Caesar and Otto Harbach, was adapted for radio by Lawrence and Lee. The Railroad Hour is brought to you each week at this time by the American Railroads. These railroads are your hometown partners. They provide jobs for your neighbors. They buy supplies in your town and they pay local taxes just as you and I. Thus... The railroads are more than just railroads. They are citizens, and mighty important citizens in your hometown. Now, here again is lovely Doris Day. Oh, thanks, Gordy. You know, I can't wait to start making this as a picture. Can you? I'm looking forward to it, too, Doris. It's always fun to work with you on a soundstage or across a microphone. Well, I've already arranged that while we're shooting the picture, there'll be tea served in the set every day. Um, tea for two. Well... I'll be in there sipping, Dodo. Incidentally, be sure to give us a listen next week. Janie Powell's paying us a return visit for our Railroad Hour production of The Student Prince. Why, well, I wouldn't miss it. Good night. Good night. All aboard. Well, it looks as though we're ready to pull out. And so, until next week, goodbye. No, No, Nanette was presented by arrangement with Tam's Whitmark Music Library. Doris Day appeared on this program through the courtesy of the Bob Hope Swan Soap Program and Warner Brothers, producers of The Hasty Heart, starring Ronald Reagan, Patricia Neal, and Richard Todd. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff. Our music is arranged and conducted by Carmen Dragon. This is Marvin Miller saying goodbye until next week for the Association of American Railroads. And now keep tuned to your Monday night of music on NBC. Eleanor Sieber stars on The Voice of Firestone, coming up on NBC.